spring ball is officially over. Cats had a very busy week five, so let's get right into it. Defensive coordinator David Braun and offensive coordinator Mike Bajakian each said they saw tremendous growth in their respective units over the last 15 practices. You know, we, we, we got a talented group. Uh, you know, really excited about the depth in the back half, especially at the safety position. Uh, linebackers, some veteran guys that played a lot of football for us, great communicators, doing a great job running our defense, and uh, really excited about the toughness and resiliency we're starting to see with this defensive line group. It's been very productive. It's been a great opportunity for the young guys to really step in and show what they can do. So uh, a lot of the freshmen, a lot of the first year guys, uh, Maybe some of the backups from last year got a ton of reps, so it's good for them to build um, build all those reps together and, and, and build a skill set and for us to evaluate what the, the cumulative effort they put in. According to both coordinators, five weeks was the perfect amount of time for five new coaches to settle into the program. I think it's you know three new guys that are that are truly embracing you know the Wildcat way and, and the things that Coach Fitz talks about. Coach McGargle's done it here as a player and as a coach for a long time. Coach McPherson's done it on both sides of the football. You know, from a culture and environment standpoint, I think you see three new coaches that are truly embracing, you know, what that looks like, um, and, and excited to be part of getting this program back to back to a bowl game and playing for a Big Ten championship. They've done a great job of bringing great energy every day. You know, and that that starts from the top with Coach Fitz and filters its way down. It's part of the fabric of our, our program. So uh, they've adapted really well to that. They, it, it, I think it comes naturally to Coach Benz and Coach Foster. Uh, I like that they brought some new ideas. You know, those, those guys both have great experience um, in, in their background and they brought some new concepts and new ideas and just some new ways to coach. Uh, we, we as a coaching staff in general are always going to put all our thoughts together and, and adapt to, to our skills. From a scheme standpoint, you know, I think you see uh, a group that's learning together. We're collaborating to build something that we think fits our players. I think you see a group of players that's really excited about what's going on, but there's we still got a lot of growth to do over the course of this summer and into, into fall camp. Over 150 Northwestern football alumni came to the Letterman's breakfast on Saturday. They met with Coach Fitz in the team room before signing the alumni wall and heading out to practice. Cats wraps up the final practice of spring ball, having some fun with the annual Dizzy Bat hot dog eating contest. That's all we got for spring ball, but there is plenty more football action to come. First up, the NFL draft at the end of this week, followed by graduation, our new first year's reporting, summer workouts, and then fall camp. We'll see you later and go Cats.